Welcome to Falcon's Ledge. I'm Ostringer, and today we're going to be reviewing the VKB T rudder system. You might find this review to be a little bit shorter than others, and that's primarily because rudders, by nature, are fairly simple devices. They handle far fewer functions than a throttle, a stick, or other devices. This doesn't mean that they're unimportant, of course. This is a lesson I learned, the hard way, through the course of the testing of this review. The depth of my experience with rudder pedals is not quite as deep as my depth of experience with sticks or throttles. I used twist or no rudder for many years. I've got around not using them in many different ways over the years, but about four years ago I opted to purchase some CH product pedals because I had just upgraded to the Thrustmaster Warthog, which does not have a twist axis. These pedals were extremely narrow and not very comfortable. In addition to the ergonomic problems, they also randomly moved the axis in odd ways. After troubleshooting this issue, I determined that this was a manufacturing defect in the product and returned them. The CH Products pedals are not known for this issue, so I suspect that this issue was just specifically with this pair of pedals. After returning them, I decided to spend the returned funds, and add a few more dollars onto it to go with some pedals that were wider, and I was hoping more comfortable, so I purchased Logitech Pro pedals. I was skeptical about the quality of the Logitech pedals, having owned several Logitech products before. I wasn't surprised when they were not particularly accurate, nor were they smooth, but I used them nonetheless, and they did the job. Two years later, I got into flying helicopters in DCS. Contrary to most fixed-wing aircraft, which, once you exceed a certain speed, the rudders are not really that effective, they don't have a lot of authority. In helicopters, the rudder is a crucial control axis. You use them constantly, not only to yaw the aircraft, but also to keep it straight, and adjustments are constantly made. I found the Logitech pedals to be tiring to use, and the lack of smoothness of the axis was a real problem. The longer I used them, the more I noticed it. I tried everything, lightly and then heavily greasing the tracks and wheels of the system, removing the spring, everything I could think of. I got to the point that I wanted to throw away the entire body of the pedals and print some other pedals that used ball bearings instead, and then just reuse the sensors. Instead, I decided to spend some money and give you guys a proper review of a product instead of trying to build something myself. This brings us to the VKB T rudder pedals. These pedals are entirely made of metal. The axis do utilize ball bearings. You won't find any plastic wheels riding in plastic grooves here. Looking at you, Logitech. Looking at the hardware, it's pretty simple. All right, we're going to do a quick hardware overview of our VKB T rudders. Um, first and foremost, uh, they are operated again in an up and down motion rather than a twisting motion. The up and down translates to the twisting motion. They are all metal and they use a ball bearing. The axis for that ball bearing is here and then it comes all the way down to the bottom. There's another ball bearing here and that is for the cam or the, I'm sorry, that's the tensioner. So there's a, there's a tensioner right here. And that tensioner, if you look right in the end, has a spring that it pulls against. That spring has two settings. The settings are changed by moving this pin from here to here. Um, you also loosen that, that tensioner so that you can get that and move that over. Um, there's a cam that sits here. The cam has two sides and is reversible. Um, and that's what res results in some of the feel, at least uh, the varying resistance there. has two foot pads here, and that's where you rest your heels and push on the pedals. Very simple. The connector is a network style connector here called the rudder link or RDR link. Um, and that is basically it. Uh, it is adjustable. You can see on the bottom here. Um, you can loosen these screws and that these pads can be moved back and forth. Um, in addition, you could extend these heim joints here 
to be longer, and that would raise these up or shorter within reason to lower them down and reduce your throw. Um, I prefer it just at the stock settings. They feel just great on me. So yeah, that's the hardware of the VKB T rudders. The sensor is extremely accurate and provides the necessary precision you need when flying helicopters or fixed wing aircraft. We will focus on the rotary aircraft because rudder pedals play a larger role for them. For this demonstration, we're flying the DCS AH-64 Apache in the new MAD campaign for AH-64. This is the first mission, and I will be posting it in a separate video in addition to what you see here. First and foremost, from this takeoff, I feel I have much better control over the yaw of the rotorcraft as the collective changes. This has a lot to do with the smoothness of the rudder axis due to the use of ball bearings and accurate sensors in this product. We'll fast forward to the action here because, as you all know, we blow stuff up here. As you well know, as you approach targets and as you slow down, you need to adjust for the reduction in translational lift. And even if you still have forward momentum, it's going to take a different amount of collective to maintain that altitude. And when you change the amount of collective that you use, you have to adjust the amount of pedal pressure to maintain your attitude. With my previous set of pedals, this oftentimes ended up in some oscillation as I changed speeds. Being able to maintain attitude and keep your nose on target so your CPG can target and effectively engage targets is really helpful. Though my skill is not exactly expert level, I feel so much better about my ability to maintain attitude when changing speeds and directions, and of course going through transitions. I really like the movement type that this pedal uses. The pedals go in vertical arc rather than a rotational arc. This type of movement, in my opinion, is better for use in an office chair and is much less tiring than rotational force, especially when you're holding a specific position in the arc. So let's look at some of the pros and cons of these pedals. I think that the biggest pro that we'll put at number one would be the price. These pedals go for $215. This is a killer deal. Considering these pedals are completely made of metal, when comparing it to its competitors, the MFG Crosswinds run 286.80 for the base model, and the direct competitor, Verpal Ace Torque pedals, are $279. The T-Rudders are a great value. The second pro, I would say, is the rugged build quality. These are extremely sturdy devices. They are entirely made of metal, which I've mentioned before, and in this case, it's critical due to the fact that you articulate them with your legs, which are the strongest muscles in your body. The build quality of the pedals are excellent. Everything is tight and accurate. For the third pro, it's got to be the design. The T-Rudder and the Verpal Torque have similar designs in a way that the pedals move, as I mentioned earlier, vertically. Now, the T-Rudder mechanism converts this up and down movement into rotational movement, but that isn't how your feet move. Having used both rotational and vertical pedals, I really prefer these. Every product has cons, so let's talk about them too. Number one, there are no brake pedals. This is possibly a deal breaker for some people. There is a way to create differential braking while using the T-Rudders using the software. You would hold down a button and then the pedals would convert from using your rudder to using differential brakes. Now, you can't use differential braking and rudder movement at the same time, which really still lands this in the cons territory. Number two, these pedals are not easily serviced. In order to change the spring tension or change the cam, a large amount of the pedals needs to be disassembled. It would be nice to be able to adjust these settings or service the pedals easily. Lasers off. Number three, the electronics and hardware is open on Blazing. both ends and not completely enclosed. This could cause the electronics and hardware to get dirty. And in my studio, I've got dogs, I've got falcons that eat other birds. So naturally, I've got to worry about dog hair and bird feathers and all sorts of things that I've always got to clean up. But, you know... It's not a huge thing, as they are quite ruggedly built. Any product can potentially be improved 
with some modifications, so let's talk about some mods. The first modification I'm going to talk about is the damper mod created by Koblix from Reddit. This was based off another damper mod that was created by Whirly Build. I printed out a set of these and greased them with 767A and installed them. I found that what seems like an excessive amount of grease is about what you need. I feel like I should actually add some more. I'm still playing with the settings of these and currently I'm running them not clamped down at all. They still seem to provide a lot of damping. I may increase the damping force so that they hold the pedals in place where I put them, but not so much that I can't feel the center detent of the pedal movement. All in all, this seems like a decent upgrade that in my opinion should be offered by default by VKB. It would be so simple. The second mod is one that I've just started research on. I believe there's a way to add toe brake pedals to this style of pedal. I've been looking at the available 3D printed pedals online and I believe I've found a set that has brakes that could be usable on these legs. These are Hall Effect Sensor Pedals, and I would prefer those over POTS in this case. I'll keep you all posted as I make progress. So, should you buy the VKBT rudders? I think these pedals are a great value. If not having toe brakes isn't a deal breaker for you, these are probably the best value on rudder pedals in the industry right now. Who knows, with some 3D printed mods it might even multiply their value. We'll have to see. Either way, these are ruggedly built, they have accurate sensors, and they are comfortable to use. I definitely recommend you consider these when purchasing your next set of rudder pedals. If you're still using cheap, plastic, inaccurate pedals, you may want to upgrade. It's definitely worth it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of fun to produce. I absolutely love exploring new hardware and testing it out for you. We've got a ton of videos lined up in the next few months, so it's a great time for you to hit that subscribe button and comment below to interact with the community. I really do appreciate it when you do subscribe, and it's really the single most important way to support my channel and this project. I'll be posting the State of the Channel 2023 video soon, and in that video we'll be announcing our 2023 giveaways, so stay tuned. Fly safe, have fun, and as always, have a great day. Yeah. Shut down.